Hey guys, it's Reynolds here. Today we're going to be doing another educational commentary. Uh, today we're going to be going a little bit more advanced. We're going to do walk the path and on a diet. Well, I was already running on a diet, but it's at 345 now. And we are going to be doing the sun and moon strat, also known as Lunar's Invengeance. Which is stupidly broken with the sun partisan being able to give you the HP to properly use Vengeance to the highest degree. And we're going to be running all these invocations here with Insanity, of course. I have been trying to stay vigilant. Uh, I'm a little new to it, and it makes venging a little bit more difficult. So I'm not going to run it. Quiet Prayers is a good idea as well, but I'm not personally going to run it because it makes your ending a little bit difficult and tight on the supplies. We are going to run Need Some Help because it really doesn't matter if you get one salt. If you get one salt, you eat it at Akka, and then you just don't eat it at Bob, but you'll be at like 123 anyway. And then you eat it at Warden, and you're good. If you lose the raid because of like two combat levels, that's on you, in my opinion, not on the raid. So, hot up, we're going to be doing Zabak this time first into Kefri. That allows us to not bring in the Ranging Potion, we're just going to bring in one Dose Divine combat for Kefri, and that's it. Chinchampas offer in case Kefri gets leveled up. If you didn't know, Walk the Path RNG levels up the other rooms after you complete every room. It will assign one to anything, so if you're a luck lucky or unlucky, Kefri will be leveled or not leveled, this is why, which is why you bring Chins. Additionally, since with Lunars, you don't have a way to clear thralls in a timely manner. You're going to be using the Chinchapas for that. Go right in. Drop a prayer potion. And on my last video, I actually didn't use the water container on the waterfalls. Which is a huge mistake, because you're going to be losing that one tick. And although one tick doesn't seem like a lot, it can be the difference between a crocodile chomping on your waterfall, and it has happened to me that that one tick has been that difference. Ending up me, because I was too lazy, I end up losing like a billion ticks. Like this crocodile that's about to chop my tree right now. Uh, I think I lost a tick somewhere. If I didn't, then that's a really bad luck, but whatever. Let's go grab one more water. It doesn't matter if I get hit here, but it is what it is. Depression. Sadness. Anger. I'm going through like every stage of grief. Alright. So. Get our BGS ready. Keep it ready. And we're not going to be praying for the first hit. Up another prayer potion in front. Just one BGS. If you miss it, it is what it is. Take a bunch of Avengers off prayer. Max it, I believe, is 38. This invocation level. See a higher number, you know? The source is like I hit 38. Now the Avengers up, we're gonna take another off prayer. And then once my sun spec is available, I will be happy to use that. And then roll this guy diagonally, it'll scrape right here. Use a sun spec. Our prayer is correct for now until my Avengers available. Avengers now available. Offer it. Take some poison damage because it's not bad. Bench is almost available. Only a four. Unfortunately, humble. My claw is ready. This is another easy one. This is simply a diagonal. 
as he's just gonna scrape right there and blow up. Vengeance is now available. Thirty-eight. I think it can max this. I'm not gonna take that one in thirty-eight chance that it kills me. So we'll just finish off the boss here. I'm not like my Avengers gonna be up anyway. I do. Every room. Memory into light puzzle. And then you want to do these guys in pairs. Eight three, boot, good RNG. I look for eight or three. Which which was this again? Two. And we're gonna look for two on this side now. Found it. Remember, I still have a three here that I'm looking for. There it is. my divine now it also frees up a space which is very convenient move our chinchampas in place i haven't seen if this is a leveled kefri yet it is a leveled kefri so we are going to need the chinchampas let's avenge one of kefri's bombs unspec the full drop the dung about here Walk this way north. We're gonna ignore the first ranger. It's about time to venge. And we're actually gonna kill some of these guys with the Karis Partisan here, of the sun. And you can see I just healed quite a bit. First range will spawn about here. And then we're going to have the set of three spawns somewhat soon. Bend that down. Three blow pipes. You only need to chain two of the sets of three. Get two more scarabs and you're done. We're gonna let ourselves get chipped a little bit lower, and then we'll sun spec and then revenge. You want to venge last second from now on because the spitter is up. Instant fly. Oh, click my Discord. Don't take your chances. Heal up. This guy bites at least in the high 40s. He's very inaccurate through Torva slash Bandos, but don't take your chances. We're gonna we're not gonna avenge him though. Back on Kefri. And then you want to avenge these bombs super last second. Of course the damage goes to the spitter. Of course. Of course, of course. Maybe it's worth killing him for that one reason. Very riled up now.
bars and up off two of these guys. Just so we don't have to heal later on if we really need it. I don't think I need it to. If my Blood Fairy decides to heal me for an enormous amount right now, then I will be able to venge. Of course. Of course, this little rat spitter. It's me a one again. And takes pit over it. I should have just killed him. This guy cost me a hundred damage in Venge. Fine. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm extremely upset, so it's not really fine, but um we'll take the adrenaline here. If power has a strictly better deal where it has more salt and the adrenaline, I'll take the chaos instead. I'm gonna res resist the urge to dragon pick X spec as much as I can. We're gonna do the skip correctly and not mess it up. The skip is done by clicking one tick before the laser fires so that your character starts moving the same tick as it fires. You need to kind of know the timing and guess correctly. I'll let this fire once. And two tiles away. Time it like that. You're good. So you see I clicked right before the laser fired. Then my character started moving the same take that it is firing. That way I don't need to use special attack, which is good. For Akka. Salt. We are going to venge an off prey melee on the start. From here on out, we are going to be only venging while we are hitting shadows, because the venge damage will carry through, even though he is immune. Obviously, if you have shadow, you can butterfly, which saves you a lot of health. I do have this brew as an emergency measure. You can see that damage still carries over, even though he's normally undamageable at this point. I forgot he's a level 2 Akka. I almost killed myself. We'll take one off right here. And we should have another vengeance when we're hitting the next shadow. That's not. Oh, maybe not. Misjudged. Take an off prayer soon. Comes back to get our HP back. Four. Take one off right here. Beautiful. And we're gonna brew on the 15 second mark. Take 
take an on prayer revenge here. My DPS is really bad this time around, so this is gonna hurt. Luckily, we do have our sun spec coming up soon. Bail us out. Same orders last time. And we're gonna hold revenge until we get to the next phase. We're not gonna take an off prayer revenge this time. We'll wait until he switches to a melee form. Ideally. He does a lot more damage in this phase. Obviously not there, but he can hit like 16s here. Butterfly to finish him off. And since I'm already very high HP, I won't really need to use a sun spec again. We'll do two shanks into a claw. Dang. Not jack correctly. That too. Over extremely carefully through these guys. That one's gonna make. Oh, I tried to time it so I didn't get hit there, but oh well. That is a walk the path. Aka takes a while to do. Sub one and a half, which is decent enough for Baba, but not the greatest. The prayer. Let's withdraw Assault. We'll need it sometime around Baba. I believe we do have two right now. Potions of Hammers. Hit before going for whatever you're going for a second. Then you grab the potions, hit again over your hammers. Won't need it for a while. One mage, one range spawn. I like to have the blowpipe out first. The major before you can reach the ranger. Melee and two shamans. Blow pipe the shaman. Get behind this thrall. Kill it. Ends. Mage the other one if necessary. Rangers. Go for both rangers before you go for the pillar. Or you get scammed on your head like that due to pathing. Kill the two majors first because they're much lower HP. Tap. All you have to do is kill the majors to progress the next wave. There, I go for the Curse Baboon only because he's easier to reach. For the shaman. <laughs> Up the explosive. Repair. Good. I think I kind of close there. Thralls, as usual.
You are using chins. Do your best to resist the urge of simply going for the best chin available. You want to get chins adjacent, not hitting other thralls if possible. In order to maximize your ability to kill these uh, meleers since they are much higher HP. That way you'll get faster rooms like that. Salt. And we don't have too much prayer for this room. We're probably not going to do too much sun spec in or off praying venging unless our blood fairy pops off. Drag him down. Level 1 Baba, so his boulders are really fast. The falling rocks, that is. Not these guys that he throws out. And not only that, these boulders, the rolling waves, rolling waves of boulders, also have more HP. Do you want to use Rigor? And the level of that depends on the scale. So at level 3 or level 2 Baba, those guys will have upwards of 30 plus HP. Which is still one-shottable if you use Rigor and are salted. Ow. Definitely use an awesome one. Fun fact here. This light part of the carpet. Designates the, the death of the pit zone. Pit zone death area. Take our time, slow and steady. Revenge. I need to flick a little bit at this stage. And in case he does a shockwave attack and stalls there, that's why I didn't hit it right away. That would have gotten dragged out. Just the urge to move until the last second. Now we've used our supplies optimally. Now we could go for more adrenaline, but obviously I won't have any prayers, so I'm just gonna go life. I like to grab the two ambrosias because I swear I still get bugged on that ambrosia being deleted. So Grab one of everything I face this time. We have plenty of food. We're going to be using the two brews at base Warden at P1 to help tank the obelisks. Avengers does work on the Wardens, but I wouldn't take any off praise for them. There's no reason to. It barely speeds it up. Tank it to 78. 81 is fine as well. It's just a little less lenient than 78. Next pyramid's gonna spawn somewhat on top of me around the same time. These wanna move. They actually only start damaging once they light up like that. See, I'm healing up in advance. Resupplying my nectar. Remember to say topped off on 25. Now you can move. Mm. 
we'll finish this guy off. Take a look at our supplies. Can't open it, of course. Now we're out of brew. But we still have a lot of restore, which is all you need for Sun Gang. This attack, he does stand in the corner, kind of cheese it. After that, melee sword. The adrenaline about now. Still on the 50 second mark. 5 DDS isn't a BGS whack. Lost a tick. Oh my god. Alright, so let's do 4. Just whack. A little depressing, but. Wrong phase. Another sword. Watch that 15 second marker. Stands cardinal to these guys, so north, south, east, west. Could have healed a little earlier. Dump the rest of ours. Next. Messed up. Resalt. I might have reefed my two down. I drank a brute there. To have it will a claw like into the BGS. Because I messed up in the beginning. That was probably more impactful. Anything. Two down got messed up. I lost ticks. We might use an Ambrosia here. I will use one. Light safe. Shouldn't really need too much food for the final phase. Windmill attack. Wanna run? Don't mess up like I did. It's not good for your health. Now we have two doses of burn ambrosia, which is plenty for the last phase. Every time you mess up, you simply flip out the sun. Villain. If you are having trouble with the dissemication, feel free to not take. Don't take it, need less help. And then you'll have plenty of supplies. You can see that. I don't think Avengers even works on this boss. I just. It really irks me not having it on. We'll heal up a bunch here, so it's not a big deal. If you mess up, just randomly run toward the center. There is a small chance you'll dodge the thing if you timed it right. There is a more precise timing, but it's kind of hard to pull off. Never give up. There is always a possibility of dodging. I just lost a tick there. Out in the next configuration with Baba. Trying to move faster. A little bit of a late reaction time. As you know, I am low on food, so I am gonna try to not heal. Let my sun spec do all the work. Not sun spec, sun partisan. Its passive effect will hold me down. 
as you know, it does consume prayer points. So we'll bob out. I have to be kind of careful not to step in the same tile that I was just in. Now, it's only going to be 4 HP, but my Sun Partisan can heal me a little bit more than this. And who am I to deny it? A little bit of technique there. Don't move back straight line, because you might get rocked by Baba. Pop off on prayer. Get our beetle while we're approaching the end. Is this the urge to move too much? A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Nice, fine, slow, but precise movements. As you see, I'm not really using my Ambrosia Sheet button until the end, the last two rows, and you're chilling. What, what, what was I going to need that Ambrosia for if I just drank the brew, right? On the 15 second mark. Just don't get hit. Slow, precise movements. Just don't get hit. It's the good old classic of get good. Don't panic. 